today we're going to be talking about eliminating the middleman. We're going to be talking about how important Bitcoin is in this process of moving into a new peer-to-peer -peer economy. Stay tuned for more. Hey guys and welcome back. In today's episode we're going to be talking about eliminating the middleman. We're going to be talking about how Bitcoin is instrumental in all of this and why is it important now I know a lot of you guys out there um, are Bitcoin OG's and you guys know a lot about Bitcoin and crypto and uh, you guys might not think that this is an important episode but I would challenge you guys to watch the whole episode and uh, and then let me know after the whole episodes done and for a lot of you guys out there that are brand new into this space this episode is mainly geared towards you guys because I want to start making a new series of episodes called Bitcoin 101 or Bitcoin for Beginners and just start explaining in layman terms why we need these cryptos or why these things are important, you know, why this space is going to be such a revolution for humanity from this point forward. Now, the first major thing that I think is going to be the one game changer that's going to really change everything is eliminating the middleman. What Bitcoin represents more than anything else is eliminating the middleman. Okay? Now, there's a lot of crypto projects out there, there's a lot of other coins, there's a lot of everything out there, but the ones, in my opinion, the ones that are really gonna make an impact or be around in the future are those that eliminate the middleman. Now, I've said this many, many times already in the first minute or two, but now I gotta describe to you guys exactly what I mean by eliminating the middleman. Well, the reason, first of all, let's start off you know, with Bitcoin and why it's so important. And why it's making such an impact. Because, you know, first of all, we have already many projects out there that are attempting to eliminate the middleman. And, you know, they're, you know, having um, some traction and they're having some luck out there within the public space and people are, you know, literally um, going towards those things. Like, you know, we've had things in the past like Napster. Nowadays we have things like Uber or Facebook or Airbnb or Spotify and so on and so forth. And a lot of these are, you know, just the precursors to the real future that we're about to embark in that the technology of Bitcoin and the blockchain and all these other things coming about through this technology are the, are going to be bringing about which is again eliminating the middleman now this isn't the only thing that crypto is is here for there's a lot of things <clears throat> but one of the main things that is really making this stuff blow up more than anything else is eliminating the middleman and the reason bitcoin out of all of the projects is the one that's making the biggest waves and the biggest impact right now is because well what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a currency. It's money. And so if that's what it is, then what would be the middleman that it would be eliminating? Hmm. Well, short answer, the banks. And that is why all of a sudden, you know, you hear all the things you hear about Bitcoin. Everything from the very beginning where people were just laughing it off, not paying attention to it, pushing it aside, then they started giving some validity to it and now to the point where they're literally wanting to make it illegal and on top of that say hey we want to make our own crypto whether it's a bank or a government or what have you why because they've realized what this really is now i'm sure that they've already known for a while but they just never you know they never um, pay no mind to it or right? just like the whole gandhi saying you know first they laugh then they um make fun of you and then they join you or some shit like that. I don't know. Anyways, don't quote me. But the point is that one of the main components to what Bitcoin, you know, to what, what makes Bitcoin so important and so revolutionary is the fact that it is the first thing, the first sign of uh, a new future in which we are going to be eliminating the, the banks. No, 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 sorry, eliminating the middleman. Bitcoin eliminates the banks because the banks right now are the middlemen. We need banks for everything. And not that we need banks, it's just that banks have placed themselves within the system so that we need them. 
But the reality is, is that we don't need the banks and we don't need middlemen. Middlemen are constantly putting themselves in the middle so that they can accrue profit from a, on, from a transaction that is already going to be taking place. So again, imagine in the very near future where you, the individual out there, would be able to transfer money, transfer anything, a text message, information, a photograph, an email, currency, without needing a middleman. All of a sudden, if we were able to do that, we would solve so many of the problems that we have right now. So, for example, a lot of people that are getting censored on YouTube or they're getting demonetized or they're getting their PayPal taken away or their Patreon taken away or whatever taken away, that the reason that, they're, that all that is happening is because there are middlemen involved and these middlemen have agendas that they want pushed and therefore they control, you know, the, um, the what is it, the pipelines that allow people to either get value, you know, get their money or not get their money. How Bitcoin is such a game changer is because all of a sudden now I can send money to somebody and there is absolutely zero middleman that is going to get in that way. Okay? Right now I might have a, a, a client or a customer or whatever in China and because of all the government bureaucracy that is involved with both the country of China and the country of the US, I, I, I most likely am not going to be able to send that money because it has to go through the banking system, it has to go through this government situation, whatever. And they censor it, they don't allow the transfer to happen, they don't allow this thing to happen. But if all of a sudden I use Bitcoin or a cryptocurrency, I'm able to eliminate the middleman and send the money to where it needs to go or receive the money and not have to worry about anyone stopping that transfer. The same thing goes for so many other things. Let's just say that you want to send some information. You want, whether it's a video, whether it's a photograph, whether it's an email, a lot of times what happens is that these things, as you send them, they get intercepted by a government agency, by a corporation, whatever. And they then they choose whether it gets sent to the final destination or not. They are the arbiters of truth. They are the ones that decide whether something is fit for, you know, uh, sharing. For, you know, if a certain piece of knowledge is, you know, literally deemed worthy enough to share with everyone in the community and the world. Again, as we move into this new uh, world in which every single thing is getting more censored, we have less and less freedom, we have less ability to transfer wealth because, again, you know, of just all the censorship that comes with this new internet that we have, that's why we need, that's why the need for something like Bitcoin and crypto is even more apparent as each day goes on. Because as people start getting censored, as people start, you know, not being allowed to use their banks because either A, they're too poor, B, they spoke the wrong thing, C, they believe in the wrong thing, D, they didn't pay their tax, E, they didn't fucking follow protocol, F, they got thrown in jail for looking at the wrong person at the wrong time. D, again, we can go reason after reason as to why we need crypto to be, to, you know, in, in the end and Bitcoin in the end. It's literally to eliminate that middleman. The more censorship, the more the governments and corporations crack down on the people, the more need for crypto is, you know, for the more need there is gonna be for crypto and Bitcoin, okay? And again, why? Because it's literally el eliminating these middlemen that are constantly obstructing our path or they're deriving value from our transactions, no matter what it is, okay? Now, granted, sometimes we do need a middleman. Let's say eBay, they provide a good middleman solution. But imagine if all of a sudden we were to have an eBay or an Amazon in which there's actually no middleman and, and the transaction is just straight from buyer to seller and seller to buyer. And then we have this, with this new technology, we have all these protocols set in place so that we can 
function in a, a trustless society in which we don't need to know anything about the other entity. So let me give you an example. A lot of times when you buy something for cash, like let's say on Craigslist or Facebook or what have you, again, you're meeting an individual in a public place to sell or buy a cell phone, a camera, paint, you know, some uh, earbuds for the noise. It doesn't matter. And so in reality, when you're gonna make this transaction, you know, you want the camera, for example, and the other individual wants the money, okay? But why are most of these transactions always done in cash? Because you, when you're buying the camera, you get to check the camera and you get to see if the camera works, if it's valid, if, if it's worth buying, and so on and so forth. But the other individual that's receiving the money, the only way that they can be sure that they actually have the money in hand is by you giving them physical dollars. So, you know, why are these physical dollars necessary? Because if you pay with a credit card, you can literally, you know, take your camera, go home, and then call your credit card company and say, hey, I got my credit card stolen, hey, you know, or cancel this uh, transaction, and so on and so forth. And then all of a sudden, that person, you know, they, you know, are losing out on both the camera and the money. <clears throat> but if you pay with cash, well, everyone knows that cash is uh, valid. It doesn't need trust, meaning that as soon as that person gets the dollar and sees it and inspects it, just like you're doing with the camera, you guys are both are already right off the bat. You don't need to trust him and he doesn't need to trust you, okay? Because they didn't print those dollars, okay? Just like they didn't make that camera. You make sure that the camera works, they make sure that the dollars are real. That's it, transaction over. So that's where Bitcoin comes in because again, let's just say that you wanna make that same transaction but you don't want to use cash because you're scared of having so much cash on you or wanting to take it out and count it in public or whatever the reason is. Or you just want the ease of using a digital currency or a digital um, anything, you know what I mean? Just a digital version of money um, so that you can transfer value. So and all of a sudden, if you're gonna be buying the camera for Bitcoin instead of cash, it, Bitcoin acts as cash because immediately when you pay that individual they get the bitcoin and it says it right there it's their bitcoin just like if they got cash in their pocket and they don't need a bank or any other middleman to literally tell them that that transaction went through it went through they can see it on their phone and on top of that once they leave they know that there's no way in hell that that individual is going to be able to call a bank or another entity to get that money back and reverse that. So right off the bat, when you're just making a regular transaction, crypto is already king. Crypto is already better than the system that we have of Visa, MasterCard, the banks, and so on and so forth. Okay? It's all about eliminating the middleman. So in the future, you know, we're going to be having other cryptos out there that will act as, as faster, better versions of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is gonna be more relegated to gold, where we buy gold and we have gold and we store gold, but there's a reason why we have gold. I'm not gonna be talking about in this episode as the what the importance of gold and silver are. If you wanna know more about that, please, Look at the bottom of the description of this video, all the way at the bottom. I got a lot of knowledge on there, a lot of resources, but the last, last link is the history of money. Please, I would implore you, if you haven't yet, to look at it and, and look at it all the way through and learn. And if you have, do it again and do it again until you finally get it, okay? This is, this is complicated. Most people don't get it on the first try. But anywho, I, I, I digress. Let's get back to what I was talking about. The point is that Basically, what this does is eliminate the middleman. What gold and silver did back in the day was also eliminate the middleman. Once governments and banks got involved, they became the middleman. And they would sell you the idea like, hey, why have all this gold and silver stored in your house when anyone can steal it, when we can actually hold this gold and silver in our vaults and we'll give you these pieces of paper so that you can transfer value and you don't have to worry about ever losing those pieces of paper or misplacing these pieces of paper because the, the bank holds your gold and your silver and in case you lose these bills, you can just come to the bank and get your gold and silver. Yeah, that's how the system used to be. 
The system isn't like that anymore. In fact, what the system is now is that you have to keep your money in the bank. The bank charges you to keep your money in the bank. That money are just pieces of digital paper that don't even exist, all right? And we all believe that have value. And why do we believe we have value? Well, because the US military points a gun at you know the rest of the world and says it has value. But all that is coming to an end. And we talk about that many times on this channel. But again, that's not what this episode is about. This episode is just basically to start getting the basics of what Bitcoin and crypto really is. And to start the conversation so that everyone, so we can all collectively start learning and start really figuring all this out collectively. I know some of us, you know, like me and Lambo and a few of you guys out there already get it. And, um, and we have a little bit more of a head start than most people. But still, I don't know jack shit. I really don't. We're all learning together. Okay, and I know a lot of you guys don't know that much about this stuff. This henceforth why I'm making this video so that we can continue the learning process or we can begin the learning process, but we can really put it into layman terms so that we can really understand what all this is really all about. So again, today, just to reiterate and come full circle, today's lesson was eliminating the middleman. And that's really what Bitcoin really represents. Now, there's a lot of things okay as to why bitcoin is important but to me one of the most important reasons as to why bitcoin is such a game changer is because finally we have the tool the technology to eliminate the middleman and not just that but to build a future in which everything is connected yet nothing is connected you follow me if you don't then please Keep watching my channel, keep watching these videos, and I will be more than happy to continue going down this path, going down this road, and explaining to you guys as much as possible when it comes to all this stuff. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it was a little short, but I'm trying to keep these things a little shorter, a little bit more precise and concise so that we can start getting the conversation rolling so that you guys have more time to really you know um, listen to these things and again try to maybe assimilate some of this information and uh, digest it a little easier so that we can really 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 not just learn together but teach others together and eventually you know get the ball rolling so that well most of us are using this new system and we eliminate the old system now I know a lot of you guys think that the old system isn't gonna go but for anyone out there that just studies a little bit of history, you guys already know, things always change. Things always move. Things are never the things are never always exactly the same. And right now we're moving into a very a very brand new paradigm. Okay? Everything is changing. The whole, not only is uh, are we coming into a brand new economic system, but we are having a brand new um, value transfer system as well you know there's so many other things that are coming okay so it's going to be a brand new economy a brand new system of value you know um and so many things because remember we have ai we got robots we got so many things coming online at the same time and we have more fears and doubt and pessimism than anything else and what I'm going to be trying to do with a lot of these Bitcoin 101s and crypto, you know, knowledge and all this stuff is to help you, all of us together, literally dispel a lot of these myths and really start learning and understanding what's coming down the pike so that we are more optimistic about the future, so that we are more passionate about what's to come. And more importantly than anything else, we can actually have, we can, we are actually going to be armed with the tools okay so that we can fight back the system because at the end of the day it's going to happen the system is going to change over and we will have the power so you might as well just start getting with the program instead of being the last one to join the party all right so guys thank you so much for watching i want to give a big shout out to all my patrons all my new patrons all my new donors every single one of you guys out there i want to give a big shout out lots of love Seriously, I can't I can't do any of this stuff without you because Seriously, if you guys aren't out here to listen to me, then I just talking to myself like every other crazy person
Okay, okay, I talked to Lambo. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to share this knowledge. And more importantly than anything else, don't forget to stay awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And I'll see you guys manana. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Peace.